Hello everybody. Uh, this demonstration is for the, the mono print, um, of which you'll learn how to use um, linoleum that we have at the high school, uh, kind of in preparation for your actual project. Um, I like doing this because it gives you kind of an idea on how things actually work. Um, so first off, you have three different kind of linole cutters. We have a small V, a medium V, um, and then kind of a larger, deeper cut. Um, now, if you're able to look at this um, closely, you'll see that like the number five is very wide for covering large areas out. You know, the small one is very for smaller detail. The medium is just kind of like everything in between. When you get this, more than likely these will be um, inside here. Um, so if you want them, you just have to kind of throw them out um, or, or sorry, uh, take them out and be able to use them. So I'm going to grab the mi middle one because I'll be using that one. So I have the middle one. And then the way this works <clears throat> is you open this up by loosening this. There's a real thin piece of metal in between there. Um, so there's like two pieces of metal, um, a large piece, and then this just slides right inside of here. So this is your sharp end and you tighten that down. So my cutter is all ready. I'm gonna set those tips off to the side. I'm gonna grab a scrap sheet of paper here and I want to um, get the size of this print. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna trace out this rectangle. So then I know the exact same thing and you, you set up your actual project this way as well. Okay, um, next thing is I always recommend that when you do a design, you leave part of the outside because it helps frame everything in. And when you run your briar over top of this, um, it will, uh, it'll have like a track for it to go on. Um, and you know, I could really get kind of technical and measure this out. Um, in this small piece, I would only do like an eighth of an inch. Um, but just going in and, and just getting uh, some straight lines down is is good enough. I don't really need to go um, kind of crazy with it and measure everything out just for this practice piece. So I go around, drop all this down. Again, if you don't have a ruler, um, any anything with a straight edge like a, the side of a book um, would work just as fine. Now this is a mono print, uh, which means we're just going to do one color and that'll be black. Um, and you don't use the press for this one because it's just kind of a test to get an idea. Uh, but it's, it's also to kind of get the point across that this Whatever you cut out is going to be a mirror image of what you want, which means it's going to be backwards. Um, so you're going to use a letter. Um, so use your last name or middle initial, whatever you want to do. And you want to draw it out. Um, and you want to keep, you want to try to do your best to try to get a little detail in there. Uh, maybe add something in there if you want to. But everything's still going to be blocky. Um, you don't want a thin line like this. Because if you want to print something like that, you got to cut out the space here and here and leave this elevated. So when you run your briar over top of it, it'll hit just that line and that's really hard to do. So you want to try to work on going through and um, cutting, you know, things out that are um, a little on the medium to larger size. So I'm going to uh, draw a letter out here. Just I'll just do B for butcher. I'm using my space up. Nothing real fancy. Um, in this corner, just so I get an idea of what, um, you know, what detail you're gonna need on here, is I'm gonna draw this flower. So then I know when I come up with my project, what, um, what I feel is comfortable for, um, for, for technique in terms of um, how, how thick you want stuff or whatever. So I'm gonna have that there. Um, maybe just for, again, get an idea of what, how easy something is to carve out. Um, I'm doing a little combination of um, things that are geometric. So they have these straight edge and then also things that are curved. Um, right now I got a lot of curve. Maybe I'm gonna do a geometric on this side, just, just straight lines. So I really get a good idea on what that feels like. Okay. Um, Next, I'm going to go over with a sharp, with a larger marker, and I want to color um, any everything in black that I want black ink. Okay, so that leaves this part here. Okay. 
Okay, now that I have that part done, <clears throat> um, when you do your worksheet, also if you if you are kind of looking ahead a little bit, this is also what you're going to do. But again, you're going to be adding two more colors. You know, whether it's um, crayon or marker or color pencil or even just like a blue black ink, you know, or red ink pen if you got it. Um, is something you can work with. And I feel like these shapes are a good size. Um, I could go in and try to get some small detail just so I could um, see if I could even pull that out. Um, that would be super hard. And I don't like that anyways, but it's just kind of a test. Um, so if I was, so everything that's white is gonna be cut out. So when I print this, I have to put this image on here now. And we're gonna do that with something called carbon paper. Um, but carbon paper is kind of cool because whatever mark um, you put on there with this paper and ether, it'll show up on this on this uh, in this linoleum piece. Um, but if I was to trace this out exactly like this onto here with the, the B being normal, it's like a stamp. You're gonna put it on a piece of paper. Your B is gonna be backwards, so I have to be able to trace it backwards like this. Now, since this is already the size of this, I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut this out because it'll be a lot easier for me to tape this in place. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going to take my tape um, and we're gonna tape this down. But I need to use um, the carbon paper for this to work. Now this sheet is for this and for your actual project. So you wanna make sure that you don't damage this too much so we can use this uh, twice. Um, and then ideally you don't damage it at all so we can use it for uh, the next person because I can already see that somebody from last year already used this up. So I'm gonna take this, this part right here and um, if you notice it has this rich black side and this gray side, I want that rich black side pointing down I'm gonna fold this around. I'm gonna do this, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put this here. Kind of fold this in place. And I'm not even gonna tape this because this should be good enough. Now I can see through here because I used a marker. If you can't see yours, just take this up to a window, you know, flip it around trace those lines back out again, because you're gonna set this backwards. Okay, um, I want, not that it really matters, but I'm gonna throw this on like this. But it has to be, you have to do everything on your print, on your linoleum block backwards. Otherwise, again, when you print it, it's gonna be backwards. I'm gonna line this up. Um, I'm not even gonna worry about taping this B down. And I'm not gonna trace out my edges, because I'm gonna redraw those. What I do wanna draw is I do wanna draw just the shapes themselves. So I'm gonna hold this in place. I'm gonna press it down. And it doesn't matter if the pen on this ballpoint pen shows up, it's just the pressure that's gonna be coming out. Now for your actual project, uh, when you do your real one, you would tape this down because this will probably shift on you a little bit if you're not too careful. I'm also pressing down pretty hard because I want to make sure those lines come up. Almost done. Oh, got this corner of one. So there's my design. I don't have my borders, so I'm gonna take my Sharpie again. And I want to color, again, the same thing I did here. Um, and I did this to show you, to try to explain a little better what it is. You don't have to color yours in if you don't want to, okay? This one I would recommend coloring, especially your first time. So first is I'm gonna go in, giving myself my, my edges that I want. So I have that. So next I'm going to use 
this, this hooks onto the table, like on this end, and then your project sits up here. Um, you're going to then take your hand, let me scoot this down so you can see a little bit better to the edge of the table here. Okay, now it's at the edge of the table. <clears throat> and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna put your hand along the side like this and rest this over top of this. So I can dig down and then be able to follow up and then knock that off. And then you turn this and you keep turning it. And you wanna, you wanna dig all these areas out, okay? I'm gonna switch this over to time time-lapse mode. Um, and get all this carved out and, and talk to you here in a minute.